this is a lifestyle. The chamber's oh, not a job, yeah. it's a lifestyle. So I breathe, eat, sleep it, and I'm passionate because I see that it's worked. Yeah. I did want to have you out here just to kind of discuss, first off, I've always had a real interest in the chamber. And just if we can start out with, if you can let me know if someone is interested in the chamber, what are the steps that they should take? So if anybody's interested in the chamber, they could either reach out to myself or Lauren via email or go to the lehighvalleychamber.org's website. Another way in Hellertown and Lower Socket specifically, if you reach out to Chris Russo, um, he connects me with businesses, oh, new really? businesses that come into the area because what a great awareness to do a ribbon cutting. Absolutely. That spotlight on this community is a great way to welcome businesses into our community and give awareness to what we have to offer here. Yeah, yes. that's cool. We're on Facebook, social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, yeah. all our information's there. Um, and a lot of our board members are vol they're volunteer board members, but they're key stakeholders in this community, such as Kim Rosario over at bb &T or yep. Ken Rampola at Lost Tavern. They're advocates for us too as well, and they believe in our mission and the passion moving forward in this great community. Okay, so what, what could somebody, if they do want to join as a member, what does that entail? Um, so it's a membership fee, it's an annual fee. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I receive payment today, a year from today, your payment would be due again. We do not keep credit cards, checks, anything on file. Sure. Um, we believe pre proof is in the pudding. You're going to see yeah. the value of what it is to join the chamber. So you will get a list of member benefits. Um, so we call it what's in it for you. Mm -hmm. um, so there's social media, there's uh, our connections with the media. Uh, we do press release. It's, uh, we have a community calendar. If you're doing any type of specials um, or you want to do a coupon, there's mm -hmm. all these different benefits. Because we realize that every business is unique. Yep. So what might be this uh, a, a benefit to a restaurant owner is not going to be a benefit to uh, a real estate agent or yeah. something like that so yeah. we try to make sure that we have a little bit of everything for everyone yeah, yeah. that's cool yeah. and then what's the difference between being a member and a, and a board member uh, so a board member is just uh, somebody that wants to volunteer and get a little bit more involved um, I'm not naive to know that our board members are there because they want to be the first online to really know what's happening we're, okay. we're connectors yep. um, so if you wanted to be a board member or serve on a committee it's usually a monthly commitment we go to a board sure. meeting it's a once a month it's an hour meeting and we go through what we want to do, what types of events, um, if uh, kind of uh, anything like that is new and important to this community. For example, the walkability. We did a walkability study with the borough about two years ago because we, with Lost Tavern opening, we wanted to make yeah. sure when people were crossing the road, because you know, people fly down the street. So, you know, yeah. what can we do to get people to slow down, look around, and like, Pay attention. What was the walkability score? Do you remember? I don't remember. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was just wondering. Kathy and them would have that, yeah. but that's when the flags. I remember talking to Kathy, and she did mention too, like just if you have um, trees on the street, like shows that like, people slow, like really slow down. Yes. I thought that was pretty interesting. And flags too. There's yeah. a study out there that uh, flags. Uh, so think about it, when you're driving and you turn your head, you're taking your eyes off the road. But if you see a flag sticking out when you're going there, it gets people to slow down and yeah. really see what they'll, there is. They'll finally stop looking at their phone and yeah. see the flag. Yeah, that, I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> it worked in Emmaus, I'm telling you. It does, it does work here. I think people are just like too cool to pick up a flag. You know, maybe that's really, something we as the chamber could work on because there is a grant through yeah. the chamber, the Main Street Lehigh Valley grant that he may have supplied for and we did open flags and it showed unity it showed um, you know community what, everybody had open flags so it's literally a flag that just is open and they put it in front of their business and it was on a flagpole oh, and it just oh, shows oh, oh. open flags gotcha. or something as simple as American flags just to yeah. get people to slow down and look around uh, I thought you meant like the flags in the hands no too. no not that was oh not that's that was. what I thought you meant like the flat those flags were no yeah. we ha that was part of the study that's what I mean but yeah. people weren't returning the flags oh yeah that's what I meant like I feel like people were too cool to pick them up oh but. no you know. So you mentioned you could be a committee member. What are some of the committees that you have? So Hellertown, um, this specific chamber, affiliated chamber, is very community focused. Mm -hmm. um, so we do restaurant weeks. We do two of them a year. We do a summer and winter one. We have music in the parks, which is our summer concert series in conjunction with the Hellertown Borough. Uh, we do our uh, mixers. You know, we had one at bb &T yep. over the holidays. So each of our board members are required to serve on one committee. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because we want it to be really uh, beneficial 
beneficial for them. We don't want them to sit around a board and just me tell them what to do. Gotcha. They're actually supposed to tell me what to do and gotcha. what kind of ideas. So they could serve on those types of committees. Uh, we also do, um, every other year it's called Honors and Hors d'oeuvres. It used to be the old Hellertown Chamber Banquet, but okay. we, cha we took off like three years and now we're back. Last year was our first year back, Honors and Hors We had it at Steel Club and we honor local businesses. Okay. Uh, Steve LeBrake got one, yeah. uh, Lost Tavern got an award. So this next April, we'll have it again. So oh, committee cool. members are really the ones making the contacts, um, helping me with picking out what napkin color we want. So they're yeah, really yeah. in the weeds with us. And gotcha. I know that a lot of my business board members, they like that because it gives them a purpose. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So that is basically, like you're saying like one committee would be for Music in the Park has its own committee, Restaurant Week has its own Light committee. Light Up Night, how could I forget Light Up Light Night? Up Night <laughs> has its own committee. And I was there, I took my family and it was incredible. It really was. It's crazy to, to see, see how it's grown. Exactly, yeah. 5,000 people. I know, it's, yeah, it's really unbelievable. <laughs> yes, it's great. I yeah. say watch out Christmas City, we're coming for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was, it was, it was nuts. Yeah, I mean, we had live reindeer, what else could you ask for? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, do you know, like, did you get a total on the attendance on that? Cause it um, seemed like so it was... we had over, we had 5,500 hot chocolate cups. We we were done in an hour and a half. Oh, wow. So mind you, maybe somebody came up. Though, that, yeah. Yes, yeah. but I mean, the Meadows worked with us for the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. We had hot chocolate sponsors. Of course, it was very cold that evening, was, but, but yeah. um, that's kind of how we gauged it. And obviously, we're very strategic how we do the schedule of events. If you notice, there's a lot of community organizations, such as the band, the Girl Scouts, yeah. um, the Boy Scouts leading us. We, we try to be all inclusive of the community and mm -hmm. really kind of show what we have to offer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a great, when I started, six years ago the tree lighting used to be at the clock tower okay it was an hour and nothing wrong with that sure. um, but we wanted to enhance it yeah, you and, and we wanted that. businesses to have you know a say and they wanted them to participate you know have businesses set up booths things like that well one of the biggest concerns was if we enhance it with where it was at clock tower you're so close to 412 we worried about people's safety so the, the right thing was moving it to Morris J. Dimmitt Park yeah yeah so can you tell us a little bit about yourself of when you took on this role and yeah. maybe what you did before it? I know you mentioned <laughs> me before, but I think it's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, so I've been with the chamber about six years, mm -hmm. uh, six years with the Hellertown Lower Saucon Chamber. Prior to that, I was a teacher. I um, okay. actually taught at Saucon Valley and then community center too as well here in the community. So it's great because I see a lot of the kids that I taught. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but then I went on for my master's and just decided, I don't know if this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, which is okay. I kind of, you know, Know, figured at 30 years old I have to grow up and figure out what I want to do. Absolutely. Um, and I actually also worked, I was a model, um, so I used to do commercials and um, calendars and things like that oh, and nice. the chamber hired me for an event. Um, and then I met my boss uh, Tony Ionelli and Frank and they were kind of like hey what do you think about a job here? They asked what I did and I was like yeah maybe so here I am six years later. Yeah what was that first role you took on at the chamber? I was assistant Main Street Manager um, okay. of the mayor. Uh, within six months, promoted to the Mayus Main Street manager, and then I got two more chambers, and now I have 11 chambers wow. that I work with. 11 different chambers. Yeah, I have all of Lehigh County and Northampton County except Allentown, Bethlehem, and Eastern. Wow. And I have a lovely team of four beautiful, intelligent women that work for me. That's great. Yes. That's great. Yes. And, um, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you we have going on at least in it just you, you know events coming up in this area? Yes, so we actually are partnering with the Young Professionals Council in April at Black River Farms okay. um, So you will see throughout the chamber that a lot of the affiliated chambers the geographic chambers partner with the diversity councils Maybe it's the small business council. Maybe it's the LGBTQ council this specific one We're partnering with the Young Professionals Council um, Don't have the date but check the calendar um, and it's at Black River Farms. There's gonna be a food truck we're gonna have live music there. It's an opportunity to get people to interact and network with one another. That's so that's great. in April. Um, obviously, music in the parks. We're already thinking summer weather. Mm -hmm. um, so that starts in June. It goes to August. Uh, we have uh, five concerts lined up. This uh, music series has grown tremendously. Yeah. Um, from the first one of the large flower heads coming, we see about 2,000 people. Wow. Uh, Lost Tavern, Black River Farms are there. We have food trucks there.
there as well. Uh, we have two other, two, three new bands. So we have flower, Large Flower Heads, Social Call. Um, we have The Nerds, which apparently is a big, big band and they come with a big price tag too, oh. but they're we're hoping <laughs> to bring in some new people. Are they local or are they from some? They're from outside of the area, but okay. apparently when they play, I mean, it, like, huge yeah. followings. Um, we have Social Call, we have Sunshine Symphony, and I can't remember the other one. Craig Thatcher, Craig Thatcher. yeah, oh my goodness, yeah. Craig Thatcher is gonna be in this area. Yeah. Um, so we're very excited for that concert series. Uh, we have sponsorship opportunities, so a great opportunity for businesses to be in front of the community. Yep. Uh, July into the first week of August, we have our restaurant week, so that's our summer restaurant week, yep. which we actually just got off our winter restaurant week. We had the most participating businesses ever. Wow. Uh, we had 17, which included Hot Pail, uh, Lost Tavern, and also Black River Farms. Uh, they had a great, great specials, which is awesome for any type of lifestyle. You oh, know, yeah. if I want to go out on the weekend, I get $2 off of my flight. That was awesome. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we have those. And then we are working on another mixer. Uh, so more details to come for that. But check out our website, Facebook. We have a huge presence on Facebook. Yeah. And anytime um, we have any events, they're on there. And if any businesses want to host an event, reach out to us. We're all about hosting mixers at different venues, spots, sure. and it's a great opportunity to bring new people into their business. And for your Facebook page, do you have different, do you have a different Facebook page for each location? Yes, okay. yes, yes. And so, I did, did I notice something that you do have one like grand one for like all 11? Too? Yes, yes. So cool for Facebook, um, with running 11, that's a lot to run exactly. for my team. That's why I asked. Yes, yeah. yes. So we have our 11 pages, but then yeah. Instagram, we call it the affiliated chambers team. Okay. So we post it all in there, which again is great awareness for oh, yeah. businesses outside of our area or people outside our areas to come in. Plus, I have to remember, who are we targeting? Yeah. So uh, my intern actually told me Facebook was for old people. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm old because that's all I know. Yeah. But she's like, if you want um, community members, you want young people, Instagram and Twitter is where it's at. So that's why we decided to start these two yep. pages because we want to bring out like new faces or sure. whatever. And then yeah. LinkedIn is very strategic because it's business owners. Yep. So I get a lot of our buy-in from LinkedIn. LinkedIn from yeah, business owners. Absolutely. There's yeah. a there's a lot of people on LinkedIn because a lot of the bigger businesses don't they block Facebook, they block that stuff, but they don't block LinkedIn. Yes. So you gotta be on there too. Yeah, so we have that there. We're trying. We're right? trying. Yeah. And that's what I love about like the interns coming in telling me what's trendy and things like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. You'll see that on Wednesdays we do live videos when we're out and about in the communities. I mean it's really important for us to have a face with a name. All day yeah. I can email people, I could cold call, but I want people to see like this is Jess O'Donnell. I'm oh, a brand. Yeah. I'm a part of the Greater Lehigh Valley yeah. Chamber. So people want to invest in me. So I'm making sure that I'm very oh, visible yeah. in that community. See, they knew what they were doing. They hired a model and, hey. and got her up the ranks. No, it, it, I love it. I could not, like, thinking about the chamber six years ago when somebody said, like, do you know what the Chamber of Commerce is? I was like, no, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. But I know, knew of events like restaurant weeks and concert series, and I just didn't realize it was the Chamber of Commerce that did it. Did yeah. it. So now, being fully ingrained in it and thinking of what do I want in the communities that I live, work, and play in, yep. it's really fun to have these relationships with the municipalities, the business owners, to really kind of figure out what's going to work in each of these communities. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So you touched on like doing the ribbon cutting event. How does a business go about setting something like that? So up? they would definitely contact us. Um, so you can have a ribbon cutting for a grand opening, mm -hmm. new management, a milestone anniversary. Sure. Basically, we just want to cut a ribbon and celebrate you. Gotcha. So yeah. um, we contact all the elected officials. We come with the big scissors, the ribbon. Um, it's a great opportunity for uh, the business owner to also meet other community business leaders. Sure. And I know that from a chamber's perspective, I have a lot of members that go to all the ribbon cuttings because it's a great opportunity to meet the owner right away. Okay. So get in front of them. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, ribbon cuttings are by far, hands down, my favorite event to do because right away that is they, the business owner that has the ribbon cutting sees the direct impact and the yeah, value yeah. of everything that we can bring to the table. That's great. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Any, uh, what, what is, what's your biggest challenge right now? With the, you have 11 different uh, you know, areas you're focusing on? I would say that we're constantly growing and we're evolving. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's funny because here right now, Whitehall, they're like, you do a concert series in Hellertown. How about you do one over here? Um, holiday season is my busiest time. I do 16 tree lightings and 
four weeks. <laughs> I am the Grinch by the time That's it's said so and done. But, but every community <laughs> wants something and I don't yeah. blame them mm -hmm. because I see what's working in other areas. So it's never enough time. And there's gotcha. always one of those things for us is that priority list. Oh, I might yeah. do it the day before, but that priority list go out the window the next day because other things become a priority. Absolutely. But I love it. Um, it is, like I said, a lifestyle. I could not imagine doing anything else. I'm so fortunate to meet people like you, to work with the mayors and, you know, listen yeah. to the stories and just, you know, the passion that these business owners and nonprofits and what they have, it makes me energize. It makes me love my job even more. What would you say like the big, biggest misconception might be about the chamber? Is there ever anything that like people seem to uh, you know, not uh, not quite understand with the chamber if there's never like, you know. <laughs> Well, joining the chamber doesn't automatically mean you're gonna have 12,000 people walk through your door. Um, so, you that, have, so that's good, yes. yeah, I mean, some people might obviously think that. Yes, it's one of those <laughs> things that you have to work your membership. Yeah. Um, which you'll, you know, if you're in any of my areas, you probably hear from me t twice a week because I'm emailing saying, hey, there's this new opportunity, or hey, don't miss on this. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those things, you gotta make it work for you. I sure. understand as a small business owner, you have a life outside of work yep. so your family things pop up um, I always tell my members if you have two events you can go to the entire month reach out to me I don't mind holding their hand through their membership yeah. I'd rather them ask me a hundred questions than not ask any and then when it comes to renewal time they're like Jess I didn't see anything out of it well why yeah. didn't you reach out we could have made it work for you yeah so that's one of the biggest things is I realize that not every event is for every business Absolutely. Um, or every person so just kind of working it and with the chamber membership so say a Hellertown business joins they're much larger than Hellertown. Because of the Greater Lehigh Valley Chamber umbrella, they yeah. can do things in Bethlehem, Southern Lehigh. The power of partnerships is so big because our main goal is to drive outside people into our area. Absolutely. Yes. Cool. Is there anything else you wanted to touch on? <laughs> no, you touched on it all, but all right, I truly great. appreciate the opportunity for yeah, coming in and talking about the chamber and yeah. what we love doing. Absolutely. <laughs> That's so cool. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I'm ready to join. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, check. You sold, yes. Yeah. <laughs>